Hello, I'm Jürgen Bellmann from Sophistic. In this video I want to show you the simulation of an arc bridge erection. You see here the main principle that we build the segments of the arc in a vertical position and then lower it to mid-span and connect it. We see the main task is to rotate these arcs around this point. By the way, this file will be available from October in CSM.dat incremental launching CSM 49. We nearly have here the same problem as in a normal incremental launching by launching the bridge around a curve like in CSM44 circle.dat. So we use the incremental launching command launch. There is also an ASA kinematic.dat, a simple example where you can look how to use this launching method manually. We just rotate some elements around a point or to see what is really possible with this launching, we have an excavator file where we just rotate and move some parts to the right and left. And this is also done with the launching command. Now, how to control this for our arc bridge erection? We make it with CSM. And in CSM, we usually can have two parts of the bridges launched from the right and on from the left. And here we have two launching commands. Group 11 and 12 is this group. And we just have to input here the center of rotation. If we enter XM and ZM, then the rotation will be around the y-axis. And group 21, 22 for the right arc part. First we erect the pylon, then we come to the first stage where we activate group 11 and 21. And we say we have a launching degree of 50 degrees and the first launching group that is here number 1 for group 11 will get a positive rotation. And the second launching, that is launching 2 for group number 21, that is this group, will get a negative rotation. And we activate our groups first without dead load. And then in the next step, we activate the dead load of these parts. In the next step, we activate also group number 12 and 22, that is this part and this part, and we also make it in two steps. First, only activate the segment hanging on the crane without dead load, and then in the next step, activating the dead load. Then we come to the rotation. We now change the angle of rotation to 40, 30, 20, 10 and finally 0. And we make a new construction stage arc lowering where we now say the left part has now 40 degree and the right part launching 2 has minus 40 degree. And so on the next step with 30, 20, 10 degrees. In between, maybe it is necessary to make some adjustment for the backstay cables because the weight of the arc here gets higher and we need more pre-stress in the backstay. Okay, now let's have a look to our final result. We start erecting the pylon, make a constant magnitude of maybe 10 and switch off the colors. We first stabilize the pylon by some cables. Then we erect the first part of the arc vertical without dead load. Then we activate the dead load. 
Then we activate the second part. And now we lower our arcs with this launching command. Now we can correct our backstay stressing and continue lowering. And of course then at the end we have to adjust our lowering so that we can now weld our pieces together. This is the closing of the arc. And now we can remove the main cables and start with the segments for the superstructure. That's all. Maybe it is important that all these stages have been calculated with a linear analysis, so not TH3, because every launching position for itself is a linear state, like in a incremental launching of a bridge. Of course, if you want, you can also add TH3 including cable sagging if you want. So, thanks for listening and goodbye!